In this session of Weaving Basics, we will learn about walking the treadles. One of the problems that we often have when we look at diagrams of weaving uh, tie-ups and treadling is that visually it's very easy to follow, but when we actually work on the loom it's very hard to treadle it in the order that it's given on the pattern. For example, so this is what the standard tie-up looks like. This is a regular pattern that would be given in a weaving book for any project. And you can see that here is the threading given one, two, three, four, two, one, four, three, and that is repeated one, two, three, four, two, one, four, three. That matches what the threading is here, one, two, three, four, two, one, four, three, and so forth. The tie up here, the first treadle to my left underneath is tied up to shafts one and two. The next one is tied to two and three. The next one is tied to three and four. And the last one is tied to shafts four or one and four. If I am to treadle as indicated here, one, two, three, four, this is what would happen. I would step on treadle one, and then I would step on treadle two with the same foot. And then I have to switch feet and step on treadle three, and then step on treadle four. This process of stepping on two treadles with the one foot and then having to switch and step on two treadles with the other foot can be quite, quite tiring and will really slow down your weaving. You feel like you're very unbalanced because you're constantly having to lean back to move your foot into the correct position. There's a very, very easy way to overcome this problem and it is called walking your treadles. If we look at the same diagram again, here, you can now see that the threading is exactly the same here as it was over here. What I have done now, however, is I have moved the treadles around, which makes this treadling part of it very confusing to look at visually, not nearly as easy to see as it is here. But what I have done is I have moved treadle 1 from here into a new position here, and it's still labeled treadle 1, and it's attached to shafts 1 and 2. Treadle 2 from here has been moved into this position, treadle 2 and 3. Treadle 3 here, here, and treadle 4 here has been moved to here. This allows me now to step with my left foot, then my right foot, then my left foot, then my right foot. That is a much better way for me to weave. It's much faster and it's much more comfortable to sit at the loom and weave left foot, right foot. However, because it's very visually difficult to see, I now have to go back here, and if I can memorize this, but relabel my treadles in this manner, I will be able to weave in a walking order, but use this as my visual guide. So I have now been underneath the loom, and I have retied my loom, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, one. So if I step on the first petal from my left side now, you will see shafts three and four going down. If I step on the second treadle from my left, you will see one and two going down. If I step on treadle three from my left, two and three go down. And the last treadle, one and four go down. That means that if I were to weave this way, I would have to look here, 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 and here, which I find very confusing. So what I have done instead is I know that I have to just go through one, two, three, four to treadle. That's very easy for me to memorize. And if I then label my treadles underneath my loom, then I'll always know which numbers they are and I never have to look at this. I can continue looking at this, but weave in a walking order. Let me show you what I mean. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My left foot, my right foot, my left foot, my right foot, my left foot, my right foot. And it is just as easy to weave as it is to go for a walk in the park.
This is a very good way to make sure that you don't tire when you weave and that you get even balance between your left side and your right side on your legs. One. This technique translates easily to multi-shaft looms. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 